Take a deep breath. Let it out. What would you recommend for a person who's had an emergency splenectomy? Splenectomy. That means taking your spleen out due to traumatic rupture to help their body's immune system and detoxification process when they've been recommended lifelong antibiotics and multiple vaccinations via the Western system. Okay, so, you know, we need to realize that, you know, our immune system has that innate memory. You know, we went through childhood and we had all these infections of everything through school. And so by the time you're like an adult, you've already experienced millions of viruses and different forms of bacterial infections, et cetera, et cetera. So our body knows what's going on. Uh, the spleen isn't as needed in the sense of training the immune system to, to do what it needs to do. Um, and I would say that berries are one of the greatest things for your immune system. Um, there's echinacea tea that you could have quite regularly. There's this thing called happiness and smiling. So honest to God, like laughing and smiling and being happy uh, are major aspects of our immune system. Uh, not putting things in that cause an immune reaction and, and lower our immune system like really heavy cooked foods, heavy proteins, dead animals. You know, eating a lot of animal foods suppresses the immune system because you get a major immune response. <sighs> Hydration, walking, exercise, getting out in the sun, high levels of vitamin D, over 100. You know, it's a major factor for immunomodulation according to science. Fresh fruits and veggies. And then, you know, yeah, living healthy, rocking life. And if you've got a major infection or something's going on and you had to resort to antibiotics, like that's what those things are for. That's like emergency situation. Um, you know, and I need to stay, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm just a dude who's passionate about health. So um, take it with a grain of salt, um, take it on, see how you go. Um, and if you're ever in an emergency situation, definitely make sure um, you go and see a doctor and do what you need to do to stay healthy because having your spleen out isn't a normal thing.